Did you know that a mushroom is always a fungus, but a fungus is not always a mushroom? Yes. Well, there goes my cool trivia moment. So Dr. Pat, this makes me incredibly uncomfortable, but we're going to go there. Scalp fungus. It sounds scary, is it deadly, and is it contagious? Well, it's a contagious fungus, Matt. Do you see that? Never trust a mushroom. Stay back. Hello. But it's very common, and it is very treatable. So it sounds to me like a mushroom zombie apocalypse. Would you agree? <sighs> Matt, mushroom zombies are not real. Well, Scalp fungus can cause a variety of symptoms. This includes drying, flaking, itching, dandruff, and hair loss. Hair loss? Yeah. <coughs> How do I get rid of it? Sometimes you'll need to, first of all, recognize that you actually have scalp fungus. So it can be patches of hair loss, but it also can be uh, patches where you have small black dots right where the hair follicle and the hair breaks off. Um, in a more severe cases, a scalp fungus can actually get very inflamed and be open to secondary infections, such as a bacterial infection will come in on top of the fungus. How do I avoid this thing and not lose my scalp to zombie mushrooms? Fungal infections are spread through direct contact. That could be contact with other people with scalp fungus. It could be hand to hand to scalp. It could be using shared items such as towels that has fungus on it, can transmit it onto your scalp. Another reason to avoid Craigslist roommates. Also, you can get it from contact with animals such as farm animals and dogs. I'm a cat person. You can also get it from cats too, Matt. Is there any chance you wanna adopt a cat? Anyone? <coughs> Lastly, Matt, you can catch it from the environment, areas such as locker rooms where that damp, wet surface is a perfect growing area for fungus. So would you describe high school gym class as cruel and unusual punishment? I don't know if I'd go that far, Matt. Hair loss associated with scalp fungus is temporary, Matt. Just remember that. Scalp fungal infections sometimes can cause inflammation with that secondary bacterial infection, and it's often to refer to as something called a carry-on. This can cause scarring and scar tissue to develop, so you really want to be careful if you start developing that and treat it as soon as possible. Because if the fungus continues to grow, you do have some risk for permanent hair loss, so you really want to take the medication that's prescribed and take it for, for its full treatment course. So there's medication? Absolutely. I am very antifungal. If you could just give me the names. All right, let's go through a few. Griseofulvin, which is an oral, pill form of an antifungal. You may need to use the griseofulvin with other medications for four to eight weeks. Again, complete the full treatment course. Um, doctors may prescribe other antifungal medications such as fluconazole and, and you need, may need to take these medications for several months. Stopping treatment early may actually increase your risk to get recurrence of the fungal infection. I will scorch the earth, Dr. Pat. No fungus among us. Thank you again for watching another episode of Uncomfortable Questions. Make sure to click here to like and subscribe for more.